East Renfrewshire is privileged to have the largest Jewish community, and I take my role as their representative to defend, to support, and to champion that community incredibly seriously. And I am honoured to have recently been appointed co-chair of the APPG on British Jews, working alongside my friend, the Honourable Member for Ilford North, and many others. The Jewish community in East Renfrewshire retains its history and culture while contributing to life across the west of Scotland. It is a community which grew from the expulsion of innocent men, women and children from the continent and which today, as it always has, gives so much back to this country. On Wednesday evening, I attended the Gifnet Synagogue for Yom Hashoah. I stood as page after page of names was turned, listing the relatives of local community members, all of whom had been killed in the Holocaust. Stanley Lovett from Musin Mearns is Israel's honorary consul in Scotland. Stanley is in his late 70s, but I remember inviting Stanley and his wife down to Downing Street reception, and they stepped into this amazing building, clutching each other's hands, walking around wide-eyed like two giggling teenagers in love. Because being here, walking up Downing Street, was emotional. Because it is from this place, from these benches, that time and time again, United Kingdom governments of all colours have defended them and their kin, made them welcome and made them safe. Stanley Grossman, again from Newton Mearns, is a champion of his local community and a challenger of anti-Semitism wherever it is found. Rabbi Wilson, the two Rabbi Jacobs, and Rabbi Rubin enrich the religious lives of those who attend shul. They play an active role in the wider community, are much loved, and forge strong and effective partnerships with other local faith leaders, as the Home Secretary saw for herself when she visited Gifnock in the summer. But it is not just the acts of individuals who happen to be Jewish within East Renfrewshire which are worthy of noting here today, but the Jewish organisations which do so much. The ongoing care for the community which Jewish Care Scotland and Cosgrove Care provide are a testament to the positive contribution to broader life which the Jewish community strives for. In the Maccabi Centre, where people like Sue Faber do so much, we have a youth and sports centre so that the community can come together for Krab badminton and even the celebration of Jewish adulthood with a bar or bat mitzvah. Founded in 1914, the Glasgow Jewish Representative Council, from its base in Gifnook, works to develop relationships between the Jewish community and other civic and religious groups. It works under the incredible leadership of Nicola Livingston and Evie Yid to support the community and prevent and combat discrimination against local Jewish people. They were on the front line when a sales assistant had acid poured over her head in Brayhead Shopping Centre because she worked on a stall selling Israeli cosmetic products. They were on the front line when the community woke to find swastika spray-painted on the side of a sheltered housing block with the words, and I apologise in advance, Madam Deputy Speaker, Jewish cunts, Jews out. In 2013, the Scottish Council of Jewish Communities carried out a report into being Jewish in Scotland. They produced an update entitled What's Changed? The front cover had two quotes. The first said, I would never before have considered it risky to show my Jewish identity in public. However, that is changing. The second said, I used to be comfortable as a Jew in Scotland, but not anymore. Yes. One thing I meant to say in my remarks earlier that I'm sure he would agree with, that does he, like me and like his colleagues from Scotland, want to work towards a place, and indeed other colleagues from Scotland, where Jewish people can wear their Judaism with pride? Yes, I absolutely agree, and I think that we can show a real commitment to that on a cross-party basis, both through the work that we do with each other and in the Scottish Parliament. Um, as I mentioned, yes, one more time, one more time. And I wanted today to talk uh, about real people, British Jews walking on the streets of East Renfrewshire, because anti-Semitism isn't just about the tweet or the picture on Facebook or the mural on the side of the London building. It is about the recipient, the innocent family member, the friend, the colleague, targeted, provoked, attacked for no reason other than being Jewish, about the person made to feel unsafe and unwelcome in their home, and they do not deserve it. These are good people. Their contributions to our country are immeasurably positive, and we are letting them down. I said I spent Wednesday evening commemorating the six million Jews killed in the Holocaust, the horrifying reminder of where anti-Semitism can lead. Just 48 hours previously, a brick had been thrown through the front door of that synagogue. The quiet determination and resolve of those who gathered in the synagogue hall last week, like that of the thousands who stood a few steps away from this place on Parliament Square, should not be underestimated. It is they for whom we are fighting, and we have heard it many times and we will hear it many more, but it cannot be said too much. Enough is enough. Yeah. 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 Ivan Lewis. Yeah.